Hello everyone. So today I will show you that how you can predict domains in your proteins and by predicting the domain you can also annotate your protein. So for this we can use a very important database that is CATH. Here the CATH stand for the C stand for class A for architecture, T for topology and H for homology. So by using this database you can predict the domains within your proteins and also predict the function of that particular protein. Ultimately this database it provides information on the evolutionary relationship of protein domain. So how you can use this cath and how you can predict the domain in your protein so that will be clear in this video. So in order to open the cath just open your browser and search for cath that is cath and the first website that is cathdb.info it is the main website so just click here as you click here so this is the home page of this cath database here let me introduce first of all the home page so these are the section if you want to see the 3d structure of of your protein so you can use this option if you want to find about the protein evolution so this option is for you similarly for the protein function this option is for the protein function so similarly this is the home page now if you scroll down so here is the introduction that how the cath gene 3d uh, works this is the latest stat of this cath database similarly this is the news section again so how you can particularly predict the domain in your proteins and by predicting the domain how you can annotate or how you can find the function of your protein. So for this you can click if you want to uh, see the function of protein so you have to just click in the protein section and click here that is go option. As you click here now in this section it is asking for the FASTA sequence of your protein. You can either search for text or ID also you can search by sequence if you have your own sequence and you can search also by the structure of a particular protein. So in this video I am just going to show you how you can search for a particular sequence. So just for demo purpose I have already downloaded a protein sequence you have your own. So just copy your protein sequence and now paste your protein sequence in this box like this and now just clear on this search option as you click on the search option so the database will take some time for for creating or you can say for constructing the result for you now as you can see the software is uh, working and here you can see the progress of your query like waiting cure running and done once the done has been checked so it means the results are ready generally it takes less than one minutes now how you can analyze the results and how you can predict the uh, domains so it this software it just match your given sequence with other protein domains and similar domains so if your domains are similar so it means your protein will also be work similarly to that protein to which it matched now as the results are just done here done is checked so now you can see in this section matching domains and matching functional families so in the matching domain so this is the structural data means where your protein has been matched structurally and here when your protein has been matched with a functionally domain these are same so just click either click here under this matching domains or matching fun fam section or you can also see the result by clicking on this green button that is found 51 matches under the section of this matching domain while under the section matching fun fams it found 50 matches. So just first I am clicking on the structural domain. Now here these are the IDs of the protein to which your protein has been matched structurally and this is the reason which is matched. So in order to see just you can either open it in a new tab or just click here it will be open now as I click so here this is the cath classification that what it means that the class of your sequence means this particular protein to which your sequence has been matched so class of this protein is 
alpha beta class and these are the architecture topology and homology so it is a hexokinase means your protein or the sequences which we which we just gave to this software so it firstly it match with the hexokinase domain and this is the domain structure which is in the blue this is a 3d view you can uh, rotate it you can I, you can also change the layout of this diagram by just clicking here view domain in chain if you click here so there are certain option in which layer you want to see you want to see only domain so you can click here now the domain will only be visible so you can change the layout also now this is the cat cluster information means the soup about the super family the functional family is hexokinase 1 this is the enzyme information means the sequence which with which your sequence has been matched so it's a, a glucokinase and this is the uniprot entries so similarly just click and this back arrow and you will move one step back and so this was the, the matching domains so similarly if you want to see the functional matching so just click under this matching fun fans or this where the found 50 matches are there so just click here now under this section you will see that your given sequence has been matched with some other known proteins due to the sequence similarity so here like for example first one is phosphotransferase second is hexokinase 1 and these are the matching region these are these you can say these red color patches so these bars they represent the matching region is these are those regions which are matched means the reason of your sequence which are matched with these particular proteins so in order to see the information of a particular protein so just click on that protein like for example i am going to click on this phosphotransferase one the first one so as i click now this is the data of this phosphotransferase one here now this is the it will may take some time so this is the representative cat domain section this is the gene ontogeny section so if you click here so here you will find the function of this particular protein that is phosphotransferase protein with which your sequence has shared some similarity so by this you can see like for example if under the gene ontogeny section so molecular function it include that hexokinase activity means this protein show hexokinase activity it may also have the protein binding function similarly under the biological process if you click here so you will see the biological function like this protein may be involved in neutrophil degranulation it may also involve in canonical glycolysis it may also involve in hexose metabolic process and under the cellular component so here you will get the information about it cellular component of this particular protein that is phosphotransferase with which your sequence has been matched or share some similarity similarly for another one like here if you click for the hexokinase so you will see the information of this hexokinase that so this is the alignment here this is the 3d view of this uh, particular hexokinase protein so as i told earlier under the gene ontogeny section so you will find the molecular and biological function of this hexokinase and under the taxonomy section you will find the you can say taxonomical data of this protein so this is the lineage which in the form of a graph and here in the left hand section so this is the you can say cladogram or uh, in the form of phylogenetic tree with which your this particular hexokinase share the similarities and here this is the lineage data if you click or you place your cursor so here it will show the information on the right hand top side like here in this section the lineage is eukaryota under that metazoa similarly here core data so by this or by hovering your mouse over this graph you can see the all taxonomical characteristics of this particular hexokinase one enzyme or protein so in this way by using cath you can find that your given protein sequence has been shared similarity with how many proteins and on the basis of the similarity of the domains you can also predict that how many domains are there in your proteins and by seeing their zine ontogeny function you can also conclude or suggest that about a particular function that your protein may be going to perform so similarly you can scroll down and you will see the lots of 
result as it shown that 50 matches it found for a your protein similarly under matching section as i told earlier so this data is about the stru structural similarity so here these are id so these protein they show the structural similarity with your protein and under matching fun family so here this is the functional means the you can say here the data is about functions according to structure so this data is functional data and this is the structural data and in the progress bar you will see the progress of your results again repeating once the done is you can say the done has been ticked or checked so it means your results has been ready to view so in this way by using this cath database you can particularly search for your sequence and see or predict its domains and also predict its functions so if you want to go back to home page of this cath so just click on the logo here so as you click here now again you will move back to this home page now this home page i already explained to you and here are certain like this home again for the home page search you can search for particular protein just i shown you earlier and under the download section you can download certain you can say data from this cath software or cath database so this is all about this cath that how, that how you can use cath for particularly predict the domain of your particular sequence or you can also search for a particular protein by keywords or by using the pdb id or gene ontogeny terms so that's all for today guys see you in the next video thank you very much